All right, so now that you have finished your portfolio, you've covered in all the white spots. There's no more white. You've been really careful about your coloring, and you have your name as well as background done in one of the art styles that also shows one of the elements of art. You are ready to turn your paper into a folder. So we're going to be um, closing our sides using construction paper. The materials we're going to be using, construction paper, scissors, glue, and a stapler. So once you have your supplies, the first thing you do, you need to fold your construction paper the hot dog way, the tall skinny way. So I'm going to fold it towards me once, and then I'm going to cut along that fold. So I have two pieces. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now I have my two pieces of hot dog paper and I'm going to continue to fold them. I'm going to fold them once in half again the skinny way. I'm doing this to both of them. And then I'm going to fold them back the opposite way. So I'm taking the edge of my paper and I'm folding it back towards the fold. And I'm doing that on both sides. So again, if I have this, I'm folding the edge of the paper back to meet the center crease on both sides. I flip it over and I do the same thing on the other side. So now I have these kind of accordion looking um, pieces of construction paper. Now I'm going to add it to the corner of my portfolio to give it kind of a flexible fold so that I can fit lots of um, papers in here and lots of beautiful artwork. So you're going to start off by gluing one of the edges. You'll glue one of the edges. You only want to roll up your glue a little bit. This will smush it down and go everywhere only a little bit. I'm coating one of the sides of my little accordion. So I have glue on this side. Now I'm going to tuck it inside my portfolio. So it's all the way at the bottom and it lines up just like that. I'm going to press it down. So I glued it just like this to this side. Once you've glued it to one of your sides, you're good to staple. Now the stapling is a little tricky. On the bottom, you're going to take the whole bottom corner and put one staple through it. A whole bottom corner. Then, don't forget to put the cat back on your glue while you're doing the other steps. You are going to be stapling just this paper to this paper. So you're just putting a staple that closes these two together. Make sure that you don't accidentally staple the whole thing shut. So I'm going to put one staple here. Right there. And then I'm going to flip it back over, add more glue to this side, and press it down. press down nice and hard and then I'm putting another staple just for these two pieces of paper. Okay. So now I have one staple holding these, one staple holding these.
and I am good to go. Now I have my flexible sides on my portfolio. If you want it to add a little extra um, reassurance, you can staple the corner right here and the corner right here. That will make it a little less um, flexible. But I don't really need to hold too many things in my portfolio, so I'm going to go ahead and do that just to make sure that it doesn't fall apart or doesn't get stuck with the glue. And there you go.